LTE is the fastest growing mobile system in the history of telecoms and has been tested in many ways, but never like this, with a small jet plane flying over a network at low altitude. We're going to test the high speed uh, 4G connection using the aircraft in the background. This is the first time we ever try this out. We have high speed trains around in the world. And these high speed trains, they need to have the 4G connections ultimately. And we are now doing some preparations to make sure that our systems are evolving in the direction so that they will support 4G and high speed trains at the optimum there. Another aspect is also that uh, we now have the 4G network up and running in Sweden here. And it's uh, a very good test to try out how good is this network. The network had not been optimized for this type of high speed testing and Ericsson's standard radio and core network products were in use. The plane took off from Linköping, near one of Ericsson's research and development centers, and the test was carried out over Vestervik. Two laptop PCs, equipped with testing software and LTE dongles, were used to evaluate the performance of the network. A webcam, mounted in the front of the cockpit, enabled a live broadcast to the ground staff. The result? Better than expected. We can clearly see when we hand over from one radio base station to the next radio base station. It's a short interruption as expected and then the video stream continues. Then at times we run out of coverage completely. But as soon as we return into coverage, the picture is there. The analysis showed that the LTE network could successfully perform handover between radio base stations at 500 kilometers per hour. The impact of the Doppler effect was handled when flying straight towards the radio base station at 600 km per hour. Even at 700 km per hour, the system performed well with a maximum downlink bit rate of 19 megabits per second. Of course, we will continue now to analyze all the data that we have captured both in the aircraft and uh, on the ground there. And uh, we will see exactly what have we achieved. Uh, can, do we need to do something more on our products? How can we use the new findings here? So, the team is happy, but not satisfied. They are already looking to see if they can carry out tests at even higher speeds. As the saying goes, the sky's the limit.